Okay, we got a lot of folks here and a, and a lot of prestige. We are at DM Thero High School, and this is part of the Just the Beginning Foundation's Robes in Schools program, which is part of their biennial conference, which is being held uh, this week in Atlanta, Georgia. And we'd like everybody to take a moment to introduce themselves. I'm Judge Carl E. Stewart from the United States Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals in Shreveport, Louisiana. I'm Wendy Shub. I'm a judge on the Fulton County Superior Court in Atlanta. I'm Judge Crystal Gaines, Chief Judge of Atlanta Municipal Court. Michael Brinkley, student at Thero. Felita Mazik, General Counsel for Atlanta Public Schools. Byron Barnes, Principal, Thero School of Law, Government and Public Policy. Ms. Mazik, if you could just take a moment and describe the value that you believe our students are getting out of this event and also how much of a joy it is for you as general counsel for Atlanta Public Schools to welcome such an esteemed panel to this discussion. The, the panel discussion itself yielded the kind of results that we all anticipated. There is one of six schools that are experiencing these panels and their interaction with students. To provide students with an opportunity so that they can be exposed to not the television variety, but real live judges who are doing the hard work every day on the trial level as well as the appellate level um, so that they get a true perspective of what it means to practice law and to sit on the bench and make legal decisions uh, it was beyond my expectations. Um, I think the students really gain a lot of benefit from it from the interaction as well as the questions posed and the information shared by the members of the bench today. Judge Stewart, if you could just talk a little bit about what you think is the most important thing you'd like to impart on the students in the panel discussion today. What did you want to get across to them? Mainly that they are in the prime position here at this high school, particularly because it is focused on law and government to begin the much needed preparation to ultimately become lawyers and judges, that these are the important formative years that they should heed their teacher, their principal, and all the good advice to get a good foundation. And if they do that, then they can achieve what we have and beyond. And the same question for the other two justices, starting with Ms. Chu. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that these students realized really how easy it is to be sidetracked. Um, by peer pressure and by their friends um, so that they um, don't make the wisest choices and they can really affect their entire future, not to mention their opportunities for a legal career if that's what they're interested in. And Judge Gaines. Um, that being a judge is an obtainable goal for anyone at any point. Um, if it's something that they really want to do. Uh, and we hope that they heard a different variety of backgrounds from all of us and that we really are looking forward to them and their future. And we'd like to ask straight from the horse's mouth, what about the student perspective? What did you get out of today's this discussion? This is a very beneficial experience for me. I can speak on behalf of my uh, fellow students that I feel like this was a humbling experience. I feel like these judges open our eyes to a different life. Principal Barnes, Community partnerships and community engagement is so important for you as a principal. How beneficial is it to bring in people from the outside to give students the kind of perspective they need to know what kind of real world, real life experiences are out there for them? Uh, it's very important for us uh, as it relates to really getting the students to understand that uh, they lived ordinary lives before becoming extraordinary people. Uh, many of our students uh, have challenges uh, that exists outside of our school that we are trying to help them overcome. And through our instructional program, as well as programs like this, we really expose the students to the opportunities and really help them understand that they can really do some great things. Well, we'd like to thank everybody for taking Oh, wait, Ms. Mazik has something to add. something? Sure, yes, absolutely. I, we would be remiss if we didn't thank the Just the Beginning Foundation for sponsoring the Robes in Schools program here during their biennial conference in Atlanta as well as when they visit other cities every other year, influencing high school students, college students, and law students, and law uh, school students who are interested or may become interested in the legal profession. So thank you to JTBF, thank, just thank, the beginning. Thanks for adding that. All right, great. Well, and thanks everybody for taking the time, and uh, good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Thank you.